Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel and to another good looking puzzle here. Uh, this one is called Oil Spill by Brigitte. As you'll notice, it is not normal uh, grid pattern here. It is a nine by nine, uh, but we have irregular uh, regions to work with. So nice little change of pace. So let's go uh, jump in this one. See what's uh, going on here. So place the digits one through nine, every row, common, regular box. That's mostly normal Sudoku. So every row every column and every uh, designated region by our dark lines will have the digits one through nine once each. We've got little killers, so these clues here on the outsides, so digits long marked diagonal sum to the number indicated outside the grid. So these digits here will all add to 26, these to 10, those down here to 27, etc, etc. Then we have a Dutch whisper line, so digits connect by an are long and orange line differ by at least four. So this guy here, whatever it is, this guy will be at least four away from it and so on and so forth down line. And love per sheet. So cool. Uh, those are all the rules. Again, nothing crazy here, but we do have an irregular Sudoku. So we're going to have to jump into that and see what we can figure out. So let's get at it. Links in the description below. Let's get started. What do we want to start with is a good question. Now, <clears throat> there's a couple of little things I think we can start start to figure out or we can start to organize this puzzle because we think about this row well it's going to have the digits one through nine once each this region is going to have the digits one through nine once each so this digit and this digit are going to be the same digit now if we take it down to here this is going to be that same digit this is going to be the same digit. This is going to be the same digit. This one, this one, and this one will all be the same. That means this guy here is going to be our remaining digit. Now let's jump onto this guy. Again, this region here is going to have whatever this value is. This row is going to have whatever this value is. This region has to have... Well, this region and row in combination are going to have to have a purple digit. Well, none of those can be it, so this is. And that's going to correlate down to all of these as well. Now we can go back up to this guy and say, where does his purple go? It goes here, and then we can get our purple and this guy over here. Let's just keep going down the line. All of these are going to be orange. This is orange, this is orange, these are, if I can keep, why is it not sticking to that? Okay, these are going to be green, this will be green, and this will be green. We're going to run out of colors here pretty quick, but let's keep moving along. That one and that one, these two will make them a gray... This guy's going to be gray. This guy's going to be gray. Now, I don't know what this is actually going to tell us, but we're probably going to get something where we can we can kind of pick through some of these things and see what they can and can't be. But um, it may not even be necessary to paint uh, the color of these things in, but I'm doing it. So it is what it is. What else do we have? We have a red and a red. And there's other stuff we can need to fill in on these uh, other uh, colors as well. But you're going to be a red. And what else do we now have? We've got two digits left here, which are the final two values. We'll leave the last one white, I guess. This will be a black color. This will be... Then we can go back up this way now. Now what's left over? It's the white digit. So all of these will be that white digit. You left over are the red. So then it's going to be all of these. Good. Now what about all of you guys? You have to be gray. And I guess these are all going to be yellows. These are all going to be the greens. These are going to be the oranges and this is going to be the purple okay so we have a a very um intricate grouping of all of this together now what the heck does any of this mean well let's think about this 27 because it is 
nine different, well, nine of the same digits, because these are all white, so they're going to be the same value. Well, what's 27 divided by 9? It's 3. So those are all 3s. Now, can we do anything else with this grouping? Because that was the easy part now. Now we got to figure out how we can make the rest of this stuff add up correctly. So, how are we going to do that? Don't know. One, two, three, four, five. There's six different digits here that add up to 26. Now, if we just use the digits one through six, well, it'd have to be one through seven, not including the three. Um, we would be at seven, 12, 18, uh, 25, actually. So we just we have to add one more to that then. So I think what these have to be is one, two, four, five, six, and eight. Now, does that actually tell us anything? Well, it means the two colors we or three color well, one of them's a three. The other two colors we have that are not on this diagonal are going to be the seven and the nine. What are those colors? They are gray and blue. So gray and blue are the sevens and the nines. Let's see if we can get onto something else using those. Now this guy here, we have a little bit of an in on, or do we start with the four? 24, excuse me, because this is currently at 16, 19. So these two digits here, which are two different digits, have to add to five, and we can't use a three, so it's a one, four pair. Again, we can pop in ones and fours. This will no longer have the two, five, six, or eight on it, because it's also orange. It's a lot of marking on this guy, but we're going to get through them. Now that means these guys are not ones or fours. Can we do any further? Like, what can this 10 be? Because maybe we can finalize the, the red color. What do we have left? Well, the only, the only digits we have left are 2, 5, 6, and 8. Two of those have to be used together to make 10. Well, it's going to be a 2-8 pair. So these are twos and eights. You guys are not twos or eights. You are a two or an eight. Let's put these guys in. Uh, okay. Saw the black one down there. It's like almost impossible to see. <laughs> twos and eights. You are not one, four, five, or six. Okay. Now... We have a number missing here somewhere. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, sevens, eights, and nines. Wait. Oh, this one is not. No, it's like there's something's not right here. This is part of the one four group. So then the purple and yellow are going to be the five sixes. Put all those in, and now let's just break this thing down. <clears throat> this guy here has to be a five, right? Because how would it go between seven and nine? Well, five and six don't work with seven at all, so this is going to be a nine. Well, the nine has to go with the five. If those are fives, these have to be ones. <clears throat> which means these are fours, and these are sixes. Yep, okay. Uh, so we've got twos, eights, sevens, and nines left over. Let's start thinking. We said this one is the nine. Let's put all those in. These will all be sevens, 
and these. Oh wait, no, we don't. No, <clears throat> we do. These are twos. Two and eight. How to finish a puzzle in ten minutes? We're putting all the digits in in about. 30, 45 seconds. <laughs> that was a fun puzzle. <clears throat> right off the bat, you weren't going to think that this thing would essentially do this, but <clears throat> it's kind of a curious little pattern it created. I guess when you think about going into it, it, it started to give its colors just if you, you look at the, the organization of the regions, but fun puzzle. If you like coloring and if you like solving a puzzle when you have nothing given and then being done within less than a minute or whatever it was that it took me to put all those in, you'll love this puzzle because then we can go look at, at these values and we can just make sure they're correct. <clears throat> so 9, 11, 19, 25, 26. That's 14, 23, 24. We already did this one. We know that's 27 and that's 10. So we're all good. Awesome. <laughs> Fun little puzzle there. Really enjoyed that one. I uh, hope you all did as well. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.